Hey everyone, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up guys? I am Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and get a message um, for you guys of what is going on in your person's heart space. So if you're new to my channel, hello. If you're returning, you guys know I love you. I appreciate you. Hopefully everyone is doing fantastic. I just want to say thank you all for the birthday wishes. Much appreciated. Loving all the love from you guys. Okay, so this is kind of one of those messages where I kind of got the title right away. And you'll understand why as I'm going through this reading. But there's like a sense of a connection where, I don't know if you were together and then you separated. And now it's like the universe is bringing you guys back together. And the reason I say this is because the nourish card is up here. It says self-growth, self-focused and soul finding we've got peace up here that says balance harmony and friendship and conflict clashing differences in compatibility okay so this is why i'm saying what i'm saying where you are with this person right now i feel like you've leveled up divine feminine and i feel like divine masculine has leveled up in a different level Especially with the peace card, it's like giving me this vibe about like building up the friendship, rekindling the friendship, rekindling the relationship. But it's like with a conflict card, maybe the first go around or the first time around in this connection, in this relationship, you guys, you clashed a lot or you argued a lot or there was a lot of differences or something. But if that's not now, I feel like this particular connection I'm picking up is coming from a place of just peace. It's like both of you just want peace now. You want harmony. And you're figuring out how do we rekindle that friendship? How do we rekindle this relationship? They could be clashing with someone else. They could be fighting with someone else. Um, Because I don't really, I, I mean, you can too be a divine feminine if that's, if that's your story. But I feel like whoever this is, what's in their heart space right now is like they've taken that time to really go within and figure out what is it they truly want moving forward. So I feel like both of you are kind of on the same page as that. Like both of you are kind of in this, this energy of like, okay. I know what I want moving forward. I know what I'm going to settle for. I know what I'm not going to settle for. And I've taken this time to really just soul find. I've taken this time to really work on me, to focus on me, to focus on what it is that I need to be focused on. What is in the heart space of this person, please, spirit? What is in the heart space of this person, please? Yeah, okay, so only you is coming up. Devoted, attached, and craving. It's like this certain person only craves you in this way. They're very attached to you. And it makes sense. I got the soulmate card eyeballing me. And then I have, okay, so I'm going to take these. So they not only crave you, crave this person definitely craves you. They crave your energy. They crave your vibe. They crave being around you. You know, maybe the time apart that you guys have had has shown this person like this is someone that you need in your life. This is someone that you want in your life. You know, so it's like they're very attached to you. They know they can't detach from you. There's that there's that deep connection going on behind that deep love bond. They ache you when they're not around you. They want you when you're not around. They crave you when you're not around. They long for you. Your, their heart longs for you. What is in this person's heart space, please? What is in this person's heart space, please? Okay, silence. Frozen, no words, stonewall. Yeah, okay, so... It's like a connection I'm picking up that fell apart because there may have been a lot of conflict, a lot of indifferences. There was probably incompatibility. There was probably other things going on. You guys took your time apart. I'm seeing one, one, one. You took your time apart. They had no words. You didn't have words with this person. I feel like both of you during that period, you just really, 
went within is the kind of feeling that I'm getting here. For some of you, your person still isn't talking to you, but it's like they are craving you. They are, they are feeling attached to you. They're feeling soul connected to you. What else is going on with this? Some of you, this person is just enjoying the single life right now, but it's like they're lonely. You know, in some way, in some form, some of you are kind of also enjoying the single life. But there's that moment where it's like you, you crave that attention. You crave that intimacy. You crave that bond with someone. What is in the heart space of this person, please, spirit? So this could have been someone that was ghosting you or ran away from you or disappeared from you. This is someone that has a hard time getting close to someone. It's like with the amount of feelings that this person's feeling, it was probably easier to run away than to admit how much they were actually like falling for you or had feelings for you. What does this, um, what does this person want to say? What's in their heart space? You know what? I see a whole new beginning starting with you and this person. They're going to be coming back to you because they do want to, they do want to try again with you. They are going to ask you like, Hey, like I know that the relationship or the connection didn't work out before, but can we try to make things right now? Can we start over? Can we start fresh? They may have been in their pride. They may have been stubborn. They may have been arrogant in their ego. What else is in this person's heart space, please? They're definitely thinking about you because the Divine Feminine card is coming through. Mistakes, misunderstood victim, lost soul. They may have been a victim of some sort or you may feel like you were a victim of some sort. Both of you may felt like you were misunderstood in this connection. There could, they could have been very mysterious or were holding secrets. They are leaving behind something else, though. That could be why I was picking up the conflict card. Maybe this person had put themselves with someone else or something, and then they just realized, like, there was nothing really in that connection. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're in a connection, and then there's so much fighting in that connection that it's like you remove yourself from the connection, you start dating someone else, and then you realize, that's not my person, that's not who I want. It's like they're trying to close something else off right now. And this may be why they're still kind of silent towards you or not really making the moves quite yet. But I see them wanting to rebuild that relationship, wanting to rebuild that connection with you. And I saw 1313. That could be a number for some of you. Let's see. Sorry, I always get all these crazy ass numbers. Then my ass got to look it up. Mm-hmm. What else is in this person's heart space? What else in this person's heart space, please? Yeah, okay. So they are going to be returning. Second chance opportunity making amends. Because it's like they finally realized. They know at the end of the day, that peace feeling, that friendship feeling, that you know, my, my best friend vibes or my person vibes, or, you know, there's just something about my person that I can't explain, but it's like, I can't find you in anyone else type of feeling. Like they're so devoted to you, but it, they had to be separated from you to realize your worth. If that makes sense. Like, it's like they had to go off and do their own thing or be with other people to realize like exactly what it is that they wanted all along was in front of them. So this is someone that I feel like is going to come through with an apology or, you know, hey, can we make amends? Can we start fresh? Can we can we do this differently this time? You know, what is in the heart space of this person? Please, spirit, what's in the heart space of this person? Shit, look at all these cards. Yeah, like I feel like it's been a back and forth journey with this person. Like I literally feel like it's been one of those journeys where it's just like, what are we doing here? There's probably been some hot and cold energy, blocked emotion. Someone's been feeling messed up. But it's like at the end of the day, it's like they think about you 24-7. They crave you three times, came up craving. They desire you. They desire you. They desire this relationship. They want this relationship. You may find something out shocking about them or something unexpected is going to happen. 
Maybe they unexpectedly ask you to be their girlfriend or boyfriend. They want to trust in this connection with you two again. They believe in this, this connection with you two. They're remembering the good times between you two. They may be spying on your social medias, but they could be trapped. See, they could be in a situation where they're feeling a bit stuck. They're feeling a bit trapped because it's like, I don't want to be here anymore, but I don't necessarily know how to get out of it just yet. So it's like, I want to come back to my person because that's my soulmate. That's the person that I feel like I'm supposed to be with. Yeah, they may have avoided you, pushed you away, or blocked you in the past, but I feel like this person has done a lot. Um, God, I can't speak. I feel like this person has done a lot of healing. And I mean, I feel like you've done a lot of healing too. And I feel like because you guys are in a different level of healing, I definitely feel like this is why the universe is bringing you guys back around. Because like I said, this is your soulmate. So if that resonates, guys, if that makes sense, if that's your story, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments and I will chit chat with you guys soon.